solids in contact 3. We're given the elevation and plan of a cone. We're asked to draw a sphere in this position, in contact with the cone and in contact with the ground. Project the plan, get the plan in this position, and then using the centre of the cone, rotate it around until its centre is directly over this 30 degree line. And then project the elevation of it in this new location. Find the centre for the sphere as we've done in solids in contact 1. Find the points of contact and then draw the elevation. Project down and draw horizontally from the plan and that gets the centre for the plan. Draw in your plan. Now rotate that point around to the 30 degree line and that's your new centre. Project vertically up and draw horizontally across and that gets the new centre for the elevation and that's the elevation and plan in the position we require. These are the solids now in their position. That's the plan and the elevation of the two solids. The next part of the question, we're asked to draw a small sphere in contact with the two solids and the ground in this location. To do that, we're going to draw the sphere outside here on the left hand side as we have done in solids in contact 2 and rotate it around the larger sphere. So as in solids in contact 2, find the centre for the new sphere. Find the points of contact and draw in your sphere. Now that's the plan of it there in that position. Using the center of the large sphere as center, rotate the small sphere around the large sphere. Now we're going to do the same with the cone. As in solids in contact one, and we'll rotate it around the cone until we get into this position. So find the center as in solids in contact one. And draw in your elevation and project down and get the plan. Now using the center of the cone, rotate the sphere around. That gets us the new position of the small sphere. Draw in the plan now. This is going to be a dotted line here. Now to get the elevation, project it up and draw it horizontally across. So bring it horizontally across where those two lines meet, that gets the center and draw in the small sphere. And that's what it looks like there with the three solids in position. And that's solids in contact three complete.